Hi, this is Karthik from Fisherman Twine Institute, Salala, Oman. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use Excel spreadsheet option in Microsoft Word 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic: how to use Excel spreadsheet option in Microsoft Word 2010. In order to achieve this task, we want to open Microsoft Word 2010. How to open Microsoft Word 2010? Yes, it's very simple. Go to Start, go to All Programs, and go to Microsoft Office, where you can able to find Microsoft Word at the bottom. You just click Microsoft Word 2010 in order to open it. So, our task is we want to use Excel spreadsheet option. So, where is the Excel spreadsheet option? go to insert and where you can able to find table you just click on table where you can able to find excel spreadsheet just click excel spreadsheet in order to use it when you click this option you can able to see the ribbon menus everything has been changed now you are in the environment of microsoft excel where you can able to see formula bar everything So now what I am going to do is I am going to select this and let us say merge and center and I am going to type Fisher Man Twining Institute Institute Salala and. So now I want to change the font. So now this environment has been changed. You can able to see it's not an Word environment. It is in Microsoft Excel environment where you can able to use all the options whatever you are using in Microsoft Excel. So now I'm going to create a table called a serial number and followed by name of the student and let us say marks english let us say it let us say math and geography and let us say average so now i am going to select this and i am going to change the font to font to 12 now you select it and go to format now i'm going to use the option auto fit lower height and auto fit column width so now so why to so now i'm going to select this and drag it so you can able to use the excel option it's very easy so now type to me let us say a a any name you can type there is no need you want to use the same name let us say english mark and then enter the it marks and then enter the max mark and enter the marks as you like there is no need you want to enter the same marks what i am entering right here okay now i have completed entering the marks so now i want to find out the total how to find out the total click here and use the formula equal to sum and select enter and as usual just click drag and drop in order to do the uh, in order to do the same for all rows so now your total is ready now you want to calculate the average so how to calculate the average let us say average
just click it, drag it and drop it. We can use the formula average for this. Wow, it's very simple. Now you can able to see, I created a table called as Fisherman Finding Institute, where it will be having serial number, name, English marks, IT, max and total and you can able to find the average too. It's very easy. Now I want to highlight this cell with the values greater than 90. Okay, it's very simple. So just select the area where you want to highlight and go to conditional formatting and choose the option highlight cell rule at a say greater than 90. So let us, if you want to change the colors, right red fill with dark red text or yellow fill with dark or else you can able to customize it. Okay, let it be light red fill with dark red text. Click OK. So now you can able to see you have created a table with plenty of options. It's very easy. Now you are back to the Microsoft Word environment. When you click on this, it will take you to Microsoft Excel environment. So this is an option. This is a quite useful option in Microsoft where you can able to use Excel spreadsheet in order to create a table with plenty of options. I think you guys have enjoyed this video and thanks for watching this video.